Hey guys, sorry for the lighting. I'm on my way home from work. I just got out and I was watching uh, Sandra from Life on Plants. Hey girl. And she reminded me about Vlogmas. I totally forgot, didn't even think about it. So I just decided at the end of <laughs> December 1st that I'm gonna go ahead and try to do vlog it. Vlogmas. Vlogmas. I keep wanting to say vlogist. <laughs> so I feel like I've been in a funk and I don't really know what to talk about. So I am currently trying to think of ideas and I have a list of ideas that I think I'm going to start doing a series on Crohn's disease and I'm going to do maybe I'm thinking right now I'm thinking maybe one or two videos a month because I don't want to oversaturate my channel with uh, like <laughs> embarrassing stories it's gonna be like embarrassing stories pet peeves um, uh, like information about Crohn's disease and stuff like that and so I don't want to oversaturate my channel because I've pretty much healed myself of Crohn's disease and I want people to have that information and I want I still want to connect with people that have Crohn's and try to help them if I can but you know I'm already past that you know in a way I'm already past that in my life and I've I have gone through all this stuff and pretty much I'm pretty much over it for the most part you know I mean I've healed myself a lot so I don't sit and think about the fact that I had Crohn's for since I was 16 and I don't you know constantly think about it like I did when I was younger and I was going through all the pain and suffering that goes along with it so anyway anyway the point is I want to make a series and I'm gonna do some stuff like that so I just wanted to put it out there let you guys know that if you see <laughs> If you see me post a video that says like explicit content or TMI content and if you're not interested in hearing any nasty stories or stuff that revolves around bowel movements and things like that and if you don't want to hear stuff like that then you'll know that if it says anything about Crohn's in it or explicit it could possibly have some information in there that you might not want to hear so go ahead and skip those videos if you do see them and I'm not sure when I'll post the first one because I'm still working out ideas and how I exactly I want to do it. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know that's what I'm. That's one thing that'll be coming up on my channel here in the next month or so. And other than that, tomorrow's my Friday. Woohoo! So glad about that. It's been a long week, man. During this time of uh, the year, we have really low occupancy in the hotel where I work, so it's a lot of work for, for us, for me, as a mini bar attendant, because most of the rooms are, are vacant. So like I end up doing, like yesterday I did 120 rooms and you know, I was exhausted when I got home. And so for the last three days, I've been getting into a lot of rooms and so I've been really tired, but since today was my swing shift, I got to relax and chill out because I only had one refill call the whole night. <laughs> and of course it came at 9.40, like 15 minutes before I, I needed to clock out. So I was like running down the hallway trying to hurry up and fill this bar so that I could go home. But I got it done and I got out in time. And I don't like when that happens though because I have no supervisor there to clock me out. Like I have to be there before clock out time I can't get overtime I have to leave on time there is no overtime so I have to be careful like if a call comes too late too too late like if it had come at at 9 50 the people would have been out of luck because I'm like I clock out at 9 55 and I ain't trying to get in trouble for working overtime when I'm not allowed to so yeah anyway I never understand why people call so late for mini bar refill like you want it done ask for it to be done earlier in the day I don't know about other hotels but you know we are not open 24 7 we are we close at 10 so if you want to make sure it gets done you should call earlier in the day <laughs> uh, so anyway I finished that book that I was telling you guys about yesterday the name of the wind by Patrick Rothfuss that was a really good book I really liked it I'm gonna I'm looking for um, 
forward to getting part two on audiobook the next time my Audible renews. Um, it's $15 a month and you get one book per month. So you get, basically you get each audiobook for half price if you subscribe to audible.com. So um, I don't know if any of you guys already have it or not, but I really like it. There's some books that you buy it and then you don't, you don't really like the way the person reads the book and it's hard. Because uh, I did buy this book one time. Um, I think it was Captain's Fury. I think that's what it was called by Jim Butcher. And that's a really good series. But when I first tried to uh, read it, I bought the audiobook. And I didn't like the way the person read it. And it was, like, really boring. And I just was not getting into it. And then my brother kept telling me that it was such a really good series. So I was like, fine, I'll buy the regular book and I'll try to read it myself. And, yeah, it was way better. I ended up reading the whole series and loving it totally a good series um, I can't remember the name of the series but it's a, it's by Jim Butcher and uh, it's really good Captain's Fury Princeps Princeps Fury uh, I don't know those are the kind of titles the books are but I can't remember all of them but anyway if you're into books check them out he's a, he's a good author Jim Butcher is a good author too but Patrick Rothfuss this is the first book I've ever read by him and my brother told me not to get too excited because the series is not finished. There's only like three books, so. And he said it's, you know, not completed at the three book mark. So I was like, dang, I hate when I do that. I always get into these books and then the, the series is never finished. So the, I always end up having to read them twice because by the time like new books come out, I forget everything. So I have to go back and reread it and then I end up wasting wasting time rereading stuff I've already read when there's so many other books that I still need to get into like that I own that I need to read so anyway I guess enough about my nerdy book my book obsession <laughs> I know I talk to you guys about that a lot or <laughs> I ramble about my books a lot to you guys I'm sorry I know, you, I know a lot of you are probably not even into um, fantasy books but I mean, that's not the only kind, I guess, I mean, fiction, yes, but I guess not like magic fantasy is not the only thing I like. I mean, I like catching, like, what is that? I like Twilight and I like the Mockingjay and Catching Fire and all of those, you know, the Hunger Games. I like those. I love Dean Koontz. I like a little bit of Stephen King, The Dark Tower. I still haven't finished that one. I need to finish that one too. I have to reread it because I don't remember most of it. And it's a long series kind of too like the way he writes like the first book is like really hard to get into and really hard to kind of read but after that it gets pretty dang good and I guess I won't stop talking about my books sorry <laughs> so uh, I'm trying to think of what other kinds of book series that I like I mean I don't know I stopped reading Dean Koontz kind of around the time that the first Odd Thomas book came out like I liked I liked that one and I liked the little movie they have a little movie of the first Odd Thomas book on Netflix it's just pretty good and I actually talked to one of the actors that's in that movie on Periscope he's really sweet and funny as hell but anyway I follow him on Instagram and he posts all these funny little videos I talked about him once a long time ago but I can't remember his name right now but anyway if you guys like mystery murder paranormal sort of type stuff you should check out Dean Koontz his older works and also Odd Thomas on Netflix but um yeah like my favorite Dean Koontz books are Cold Fire and Dark Rivers of the Heart and I mean I like his other ones but those are like my two top favorites that that I my all-time favorite is Cold Fire, but Dark Rivers of the Heart is number two. It's like really close. Those are really good books. And anyway, I haven't read any of his stuff in a while, but I do have one of his books on Audible downloaded. I just haven't gotten to it yet because the aud audio books are like, a lot of them are like 25 hour long, 10 hours to 25 hours long to listen to. Like, the first Wheel of Time book is like 30 hours, and I just downloaded that so Luis and I can listen to it together. And we're, I think we're only on like chapter two. So, it's going to take a long time to get through that series with him, because I can't pin him down to actually get him to 
sit and listen to it like he said he would, like, it's hard to get him to actually sit down and say he'll be like, okay, let's listen to it. But, uh, you know, there's so many distractions. There's so many other things we could be doing. He loves playing video games, and I love watching Netflix and YouTube, so it's hard. It's hard, but anyway, that's why I've been um, mostly listening to audiobooks in my car on the way to work and on the way home. That's how I finished that name of the wind book so fast so I'm gonna continue to keep listening to books in the car I just started listening to hit list by Laurel K Hamilton I've read it before but that's where I left off in the series so I'm re-listening to that one and then I'll continue on the rest of the series there's actually only three more books after after that one and this is book 20 so this is the most books I've ever read in a series like it has more books than even the wheel of time except for the Wheel of Time is like, you know, almost a thousand pages per book, so it's not really, it kind of probably equals out to about the same amount of reading, but, but considering, I don't know, I'm just saying like 20 books is a lot of books to be like, oh, I actually made it through a series to 20 books, and there's only 23 books in the series so far, and I think it's still going, I don't think it ended, so there's a lot of reading to do. Oh, and... I know John will probably find this interesting from John's Conscious Life if um, he doesn't know this already. I just saw that the latest book that came out by Terry Goodkind, the very newest book, it's called The War Something, I think. Uh, it's the last book of the Sword of Truth series. It finally has an ending. So I'm on book six, and there's a lot of books in that series too. But now that I know there's an ending, like it makes me want to read it more because <laughs> I want to you know like I said it's so hard when you read something and then it doesn't end it doesn't have an ending and then you have to go back and reread it because you don't remember what happened so yeah now I'm excited to get through that series and find out what is finally going to happen to Richard and Kal I call her Kalan I, I pronounce everyone's names in books wrong I pronounce them like my own way and I know it's not the correct way but I don't care because it's it's my head that I'm reading it in. I don't have to read it to anybody else. You know what I mean? So whenever I talk to my brother about books or something, he's always correcting me and telling me that I say everything wrong. But I'm like, I don't care. It's my story. It goes in my head. I don't have to say it the way you say it. So, like, for me, it's not. I know that for the Wheel of Time, people say, I think it's I Sedai that they say for the witches. And I say A Sedai. So to me, it's A Sedai. And... Um, things like that like I pronounce everything wrong, but I don't care because I'm gonna pronounce it the way that sounds good to me in my head So anyway, this has just become a really long rant about books. So I guess I'll put in the title Beware rant about books <laughs> So that I hope nobody watches this that will get bored out of their minds So I guess that's it <laughs> since I kind of lost my train of thought oh, I will end it there because this video is getting really long and I could pretty much talk about books, movies, tattoos, and 80s cartoons forever and ever and ever. So, <laughs> anyway, look forward to Vlogmas. Vlogmas, I said it right this time. <laughs> and I will catch you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. I love you guys. Goodbye. Good night. Good morning, wherever you are. Have a fabulous day or night or dreamy sleep or whatever. <laughs> Bye.